Good morning, amazing friends. This is Mrs. Gonzalez, and I'm going to read to you a story today. And this story time is math time two. Wow, didn't know that we could do literacy and math at the same time, but we can. This is a really cool story about comparing numbers and comparing amounts. It's called Just Enough Carrots, and it's illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. He's the illustrator. What does he do? That's right, he draws the pictures. Some cool pictures in this one. It's written by Stuart J. Murphy. He is the author. What does an author do? That's right, he writes the words. There's some cool words in here too. We're gonna to learn some new vocabulary, some new words. This is about comparing amounts. And so when we compare things, we look and see how they're the same or how they're different. You're going to want to remember some words. More, greater, equal, less, and fewer. Hmm. Let's see how that works. Just enough carrots. We want to say a big thank you to Scholastic. Scholastic's the publisher, and they put together this book, made sure the pictures match the words, put them in the right order, too. Just Enough Carrots. The story hasn't started yet. This is a title page. It has the author and the illustrator, and there's a picture there. I see a supermarket. Supermarket's like a grocery store. Just Enough Carrots. Still another title page. We're not going to see the story start yet, but we are going to see a picture. And I see friends waving at each other. I see grocery carts. Hmm. I'm wondering what happens in this story. There are no words here. What do we see? Hmm. I see some of those things too. I see some numbers by the aisles. I see different kinds of food, just like I see in a real grocery store. And I see people. These people are animals. I really want some carrots. I really like carrots. When you eat them, they munch and you crunch. Hmm. I've munched and crunched before. I know there are others who have many more carrots. But we just have one little bunch. He's noticing. Do you ever stop and notice? Listen to what the mom says. Yes, horse has more carrots, but bird has the same amount. An elephant has even fewer. Look where, what it says. Our carrots, more, same, fewer. I'm noticing more means greater, it means bigger. Same means equal, and fewer means little, smaller, less. have too many peanuts. I don't like to eat peanuts. First you chomp and then you chew and you chew. <laughs> have you ever eaten peanuts? I'm sure there are others who have fewer peanuts. Why can't we buy just a few? 
That's a good question. Listen to the mom. She says, yes, squirrel has fewer peanuts, but bird has the same amount. An elephant has even more. Look at the picture. Our peanuts, fewer peanuts, same peanuts, more peanuts. Hmm. Please don't buy any worms. I really hate worms. They squish and they squirm and, and they crawl. Hmm. That's not something you would eat, is it? I bet there are others who have fewer worms. Let's not buy any at all. He really doesn't want his mom to buy those worms. Let's see what the mom says. Yes, elephant has fewer worms, but frog has the same amount, and bird has even more. Look, our worms, fewer, same, more. You don't have to eat peanuts. You don't have to eat worms. And we have just enough carrots to munch. Hmm. Noticing they're at the checkout stand. The person is putting the numbers into the cash register. And look, there's somebody that's putting the carrots into a bag. I've noticed that when I go to the grocery store. I bought all of these peanuts and all of these worms. Hmm. Where she's going to tell me next? Because elephant and bird are coming for lunch. What a great thing. What a good mom, huh? Chomp, chomp, and chew. Squish, squirm, and crawl. Munch, munch, and crunch. Yummy, carrots for lunch. Look at the friends having all the foods that they love and smiling together while they eat. <coughs> the end. <coughs> My friends, you can do lots of things like comparing numbers. Like look in your bathroom. Look and see if you have more towels or more toothbrushes, or in your kitchen. Look and see if you have more spoons or forks. You can look anywhere and compare numbers and compare things. You can even get some cards and you can get them and play a game. If you draw a card, maybe it has the number three on it, and someone else draws a card and maybe it has the number 10 on it, you can talk about which number is greater and which number is less, which one is more, and which one is fewer. Pretty cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed the book. Just enough carrots. Have a fabulous day, friends.